Hello everyone, V2 Safe Protein back with some mail this week. So far I've got two things. Not really expecting anything else this week. Uh, but I do got a few more things. You know, on the way. Eventually, not too much. And, uh, fortunately, the local government here has shut down non-essential businesses for at least two weeks until, at least until April... 14th, I believe. So I'm at home for the next couple weeks at the minimum. And I mean, that could be extended. So yeah. <laughs> Fun. Anyways, first of all, I got an order from Playing Card Decks, which includes the Eclipse comic in red and blue. NPC printed. I believe these are the official ones, while the previous green one was just a prototype. Kind of interesting that they didn't go for Kickstarter and make them USPC, but pretty nice nonetheless. Then there is the 666 Crimson Flare and Cobalt Blue. Beautiful, nice foily tuck cases from Riffle Suffle. I believe it's their first card moon they produced decks. They got numbered seals as well. Hopefully you can see the numbers. They don't match, unfortunately. Also along with that came some 999 stickers. No, I'm kidding. 666, well, whatever you want. Maybe it's the 999 deck. Uh, nice enough. There is one more 666 deck, which is the Dark Reserve, I believe, which I'm still hoping to find. And on top of that, a couple of new ones from Illusionist. The Super B V2 deck. Apparently it's a V2. It does have the Lux Repressed stock, so it is a new print at the very least. Nice metallic, nice four line of talkies, metallic ink on the cards, and it's for good cause, so go get them. And the other one is the Republic number three artist edition, which is more or less the same as the previous Angelus, Lost Angelus edition, which was green. This one's black, but more or less the same thing with the band on there. Is what it is. And also, of course, there came some cards. This is from one of their transformation decks. There's an old one, the Boardwalk Papers, I believe it was, from... Wow, that's a smooth finish, kind of slippery finish. That one's from Blue Crown, and then there's this one, which I forget the name of, but I don't have it. And make sure you check out their current project on Kickstarter, the Kratos Almanac Transformation Playing Cards. I think there's six different decks in this series it's on right now. And on top of all that, I did get an order from 311. First, there's the product red V2. Nice tough case. Nice cards. And it's for a good cause again, so go get it. And the Hollywood Roosevelt. That's a very nice tough case. Lots of foils. And yeah, reviews coming for those eventually. I'll see you next time for more. Thanks for watching. And see if anything else shows up this week. Hello uh, everyone, this is a fruit tea back with some more mail this week, which I forgot to get to earlier, but I'll do it today. Well, I didn't forget to get to it earlier, I just forgot to record it. <laughs> it is from Red Fox Playing Cards, which is a local company, relatively local, just outside the city. And I want to thank them for dropping this off for me to review. Came in this nice paper bag, although I damaged it, unfortunately. <laughs> and there was some information as well. By Kelly Ten Hove. Hold. And what do we get in this package? First of all, you get some crazy glasses so that you can see the markings on the one deck so that you can learn them. Oh, I'm still not a big fan, I would say, of the marking system. But pretty interesting glasses. And concept, very unique. Uh, there's a little ad card. And that scan screen just takes you to the website. There you get a slot of the back design of the cards. There's a couple of stickers that you get. Red Fox and a Red Fox. And there's another little ad card. This is actually a sneak peek at version 2 deck coming at some point in time. I guess it's the joker for that deck. And then we get the decks themselves. 
two different decks. It's upside down, apparently. We have this one, which is version one. It's the March edition. And you get version 1.1, which is the unmarked edition and has a purple color to it. So, pretty cool decks. It says here, oh, and um, on top of that, one more thing. One more thing I forgot. You also get this case, which I put together, Titan, which is cool. And it says here you get the, with the orders, you get the uh, two stickers, the Titan sleeve, the business card, and the weight of glasses with version 1.0. And a white shipping box with a red fox stamp. So, um, yeah. Well, thank you very much to Kelly and Ricky for sending this out to me, for getting it to me. I appreciate it. I will review it soon. And as that, comment, rate, subscribe, let me know, and we'll see what comes my way next week.